Hello, everybody. Uh, it's been a long time since I've read something of my own. Um, in that time, I've since gotten married, so it's uh, Margarita Barcelo Flores. Uh, no, that's okay. Um, so this is a piece inspired by uh, Norma Cantus Canicula, and I, some of you were here, or some of you saw her yesterday when she was here. Um, and I uh, just wanted to thank, oh, did I, yeah. Um, I just wanted to thank my amazing colleagues and students uh, in the English department for sponsoring this and also to uh, Sigma Tau Delta. So um, in Canicula, uh, Cantu has these pictures and they're accompanied by narratives. Sometimes the narratives match, sometimes they don't. Uh, she has epigraphs in here from everybody to, from Roland Bart to Susan Sontag and it's really amazing stuff. Anyway, this is an homage to, or homenaje to uh, Professor Cantu and this is called Cousin Picture um, and my husband has it if you want to take a look. So, cousin picture. Six in all, tallest to shortest. Of course, there are four males and only two females. These are a sampling of the Orozco grandchildren, after all. Most of us are not dressed for a wake or funeral. Our parents probably thought we were too young. Or maybe these weren't our wake and funeral outfits. Just two cousins in the back. Patricia and Federico are wearing black. But make no mistake, our beloved Tata Orozco has died. We are gathered outside Nana Orozco's apartment on Silver Bell Road. Inside, we reunited, remembered, and judging from the other photos, laughed a lot. <laughs> if the grief was not too raw, there were probably loving tributes to Tata's long and famous radio voice and career. Yes, another woman was La Viuda de Orozco, Orozco's widow. But only Nana could contain our grieving, loud brood. Her second apartment was the setting for some lovely pictures from the early 1980s when Tia Victoria Orozco, Viuda de Ramirez, died. The apartment held us again towards the close of that decade after both she and Tio Chinto were gone. My sadness is not as apparent here as it is elsewhere. And to be honest, I have only vague memories of the event itself. I don't recall the mariachis playing my tata's beloved Marcha de Zacatecas. And I have only a vague memory of the circle dance at the Tahona Oldham Reservation. But what I do remember is feeling safe and adored. There were and are a lot of things to fear in this life. Death is not one of them. Thank you.